Greetings! Today I'll demonstrate how to install Luke's FSR3 mod into Tekken 8. So, like and subscribe, and fasten your seatbelts. Let's dive in. First, let's boot up the game and see how many FPS I get without the mod. It appears that the game is locked at 60 FPS. I'm using these settings, and I've also enabled the in-game FPS counter, as well as the MSI Afterburner overlay. Let's get into a game and see. I'm maintaining a constant 60 FPS, although 1% and 0.1% lows are slightly lower. You can see my CPU and GPU usage is low. That means I could potentially have more FPS if there was no FPS cap. Now let's install Luke's mod and see what it does. If you know how to download the mod, use the FSR220 file as shown in this spreadsheet. Go here if you want to know how to download the latest mod from Luke. For lazy people, go to the download link in the description and download this file. Extract it or open it. Go to the Tekken 8 install directory. I'm using a cracked version of the game, so your game file location may be different from mine. Copy these three files and that's it. Launch the game again. If you use FSR, the usual flickering issue will appear, but only in the main menu and subtitles. For general gameplay, it doesn't matter at all. When you load into the game, you can see that the in-game FPS counter doesn't register generated FPS, but MSI Afterburner picked up the generated FPS. And yes, Luke's mod unlocked the 60 FPS cap. If you can hit high FPS, the game is buttery smooth. When switching to DLSS, flickering is gone, no more ghosting. You can enjoy the game with high FPS and no issues. You will get lower CPU usage when using FSR, whereas DLSS uses a tiny bit more CPU. So, expect some freezing and stutter issues if you have a low-end CPU like mine. You can also use Intel XESS and more upscaling methods in the game settings menu. Play around with these settings and find out what is good for you. Okay then, enjoy the gameplay and don't forget to like and subscribe.